how it is made. There were so many of the women that really inspired me. I think the one woman that really um, has me thinking about what it is that I need to do for the rest of my life is Betty uh, Okan and Gulu. If, in case you link us to some other organizations, all your organizations are able to support us materially, we shall be very, very grateful. But leave alone material support. We also need a lot of moral support. Her energy level was just so high and she's done so much and has such a commitment to ensuring that not only women have access to services and care, but that, that their families and especially their children have the same access to care. She's done so much and with the resources could do so much more. Um, she took us to one of the settlements in the north outside of Gulu and that I think will be a part of what I remember about Uganda for a very long time. To see how families were living in situations where they had nothing uh, because of war um, was something that, that's not, not easily forgotten. She said, yeah, she, I thought it was a large one, and she said, no, 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 no,
and kind of like a kaleidoscope, you suddenly see all of these colors coming out on the edges. And what we've got is the possibility, which I've always hoped would be true. We have the possibility of having the kinds of things that women are supposed to stand for become the values by which a society lives. Part of my vision has always been to link African and Japanese women. And I don't know why that is, but um, I have a real affinity with Japanese women and with African women. And I just think that they are sisters at the core and that there is a lot they can share with each other. Bringing Japanese women and African women together is going to make a difference for the whole world. I think those two cultures coming together can bring a new kind of leadership to the global women's movement. We started with this idea years ago, and I know it was even way before the women's conferences in the UN, there's a lot of people that thought, you know, you take one little step towards peace, and then the next step will open up. And then really it does. And some people want to say, well, where are you going to end up? And you think, well, I don't know where I'm going to end up. I'm just taking this next step. And then you take that next step. And so the ne this next step is Japan, to link Japan to Uganda. And I think that's the next step. So we just see that. And we don't know what will come after that. We don't know where we're going to end up. We just will focus on doing the next step well. Mm -hmm.